my skin doesn't fit anymore. It started out small, just a little patch above my left pinky. You know how on your knuckles you could kind of move and squish the skin? It was like that, but more. I could pull that little patch of skin several inches suddenly. It didn't hurt or anything. It actually felt kind of good. Soothing, almost. Anytime I got stressed, I would find my fingers running over the loose, stretchy skin, playing with it, folding it, molding it to my heart's content. Then one morning, it happened. I was getting ready for work and pulled my socks out when I felt a weird shift on my foot. Confused, I pulled my sock off only for my heart to skip a beat. The skin that once hung from the bottom of my foot was now sagging loosely. I reached my hand down and touched it. Chills shot through my body. That feeling was unreal. I grabbed onto the loose skin and began tugging at it, pulling up closer to calves. I cried out in pain and joy. I wanted more. The next few days, I stayed held up in my home. Nothing mattered except the exquisite joy of my skin clinging loosely to my body. Some parts seemed to dangle on their own accord. Some I pulled loose. I preferred the ones that I pulled. It felt more intimate and exciting. It felt more limber and full of energy than ever. I could reach parts of my body like never before. Even if I couldn't reach it at first, I would just begin pulling at the nearby flesh until it released any orgasmic bolts throughout my body. I truly wish I could explain how it feels during the release. Eventually, my worst fear came true. I had nothing left to pull off. I was disfigured and horrifying. My skin hung limply from my skeleton. My face was a disgusting mess of flesh drooping several inches from where it once was. I could no longer talk or express myself properly as everything was so loose. That didn't matter though. All that mattered was finding a way to regain the pleasure of release again. I began pulling at every inch trying to find a piece that hadn't yet been released, but to no avail. Until I felt that icy prick of release return. Not like it was before, though. Different. Even better. Upon investigation, I found the source of this pleasure. A tear. A rip in my own flesh. No blood came out, though. It was just an open hole where my skin had once been solid. I pulled at it again, ripping it open just a little bit further and almost passed out from the pleasure I felt. This was it. This was what I had been searching for. Tugging and pulling, folding and stretching, I kept working at the hole. The feeling was divine as the hole grew from only a few centimeters now to a few inches and further. It began to resemble more of a creature's maw as I worked my fingers deep inside, tearing away. I moaned louder and louder as I felt my body give out under the waves of pleasure. Oh yeah! I needed more though. I needed to keep pulling and tearing ripping deeper into the soft pink flesh that once was so tight against me. After many hours, possibly days, I ripped the last bits. My once tight flesh laid to my feet in ribbons. 
I felt so alone now. My raw muscles twitched against the cold air. The pain of each step as the nerves in my feet stepped over my shredded parts and hit the hardwood floor again. I stared at the mirror in disbelief of what I had done to myself. I was unrecognizable, just raw meat in the shape of a human now. What was I supposed to do? I did the only thing I could truly think to do. I reached up and began to pull at my face hoping to find a new deeper release, digging my fingers deep inside the red muscle. Please, someone help. I want to feel that release again. Well, I hope you enjoyed this creepy yet terrifying tale with us tonight. This tale made me want to quit biting my nails. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.